What is up everyone, this is Mogaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the error code NP-32167-9, or there was an error connecting to the server. So, some of you folks who are, are actually asking me this error, how to fix this, actually already tried one of the logics and methods, which was updating the DNS, which we're going to get into, then we're going to talk about point number two and what you can try to do, and we're like, I still am getting this error. So... What I mean by that is if this is if you haven't tried this or you have, what I'm gonna basically walk you through is we're gonna to go to network, we're gonna do setup internet connection. If we can preferably change from Wi-Fi to LAN, please do so. If not, it's fine. Choose either or. We're gonna do custom over here. We're gonna do automatic for IP, do not specify here. For DNS settings, we're gonna do manual. Now this is where a lot this is how you essentially fix this error. If you change your primary DNS to 1.1.1.1 or se and secondary to 1.0.0.1, the error will get fixed. Now, a lot of folks were like, we have a another DNS entered and it's not working. That is true. For some odd reason, certain DNSs are not working, such as the 8.8.8.8 for primary and the 8.8.4.4 for secondary, which is usually Google's DNS and it's not working. The one I'm mentioning is Cloudflare's. So if whatever region you're in and you're trying to get that region's DNS to work, it is possible that it is down or something else is wrong with said DNS and you might want to try a different DNS. You might want to play around for something else and give that a shot instead. Unsure why, but this is a weird uh, error that is popping up. It does work, like I said, using Google's DNS sometimes doesn't work or any, any other DNS might work. So this one, for some odd reason, Cloudflare's ends up working. So you might want to play around with the DNS. Uh, this is option number one. The option number two that you can try is what you can do is once you actually do with this information, press do not use testing internet connection, you can actually reset your router itself, which is basically go to your router, go to the back of it. Usually there's like a small tiny button, which you might have to press with a pin called reset. You might want to actually press that reset the router itself after like 30 seconds it'll actually like remove all passwords and information probably bring it back to a factory setting and might even actually update the router itself you might want to kind of go down that route and then let it will hopefully fix the issue from there it is possible that some router edit settings are what is causing this issue to persist instead uh so yeah wanted to kind of make a quick video showing you how you can fix this and yeah basically <laughs> if you guys overall like this video please smash that like one helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell like that we're coming out